Hey, nerds, join us on Discord and hit that subscribe button. Magic and fire. I am Sika. Thessaly. Olma. Kellek. <laughs> Flynn. And I'm your DM, Seth. Welcome to Venture Forth. When last we left our heroes, as Salix and Thessaly continued their conversation overlooking the city skyline, the rest of the agents of repair found themselves in the warmly lit interior of the Scholar's Rest, near the intersection of the Civic and Parchment districts within Stilgate. After partaking in the inn's various treats and libations, Flynn found himself wandering the stacks of books and came face to face with a curious individual, a deep gnome illusionist who had some interesting things to say to Flynn about the Iron Light's history while he waited upon a scheduled meeting with a friend. Seeker and Kellick discussed the various ways to navigate friendship with Thessaly, while Oma <laughs> acquainted herself with while Oma acquainted herself with Pages, the resident awakened Maine Coon cat that calls the Scholar's Rest home. Meow. Meanwhile, Meow. back above the city, Thessaly and Salix discussed the impending conversation with the Sade Kalb and some of the day's events. And in a moment of levity, Salix ribbed Thessaly about the curious relationship between herself and Kellick. Yes, it's not every day another man threatens to kill you for yelling at your sister. <laughs> Scholar's Rest, the friend, uh, the friend that Fumduck uh, was waiting on was none other than Ka'a Moe, a figure from Kellogg's past here within Stillgate. The two reunited, talked about old times, the trials of faith, and Kellogg warned Mo of the threat to the Queen's life and the reason for the Agents of Repair's presence in Stillgate. Mo said he'd run it through channels and would inform you as soon as he could of the results. <laughs> and it was at this point, the group reunited, that Thessaly and Salix returned, apologies were issued, and while the rest of the group discuss the merits of dismemberment, Thessaly asks Kellick for patience while they navigate whatever it is that's between them. So, as we return back to the Scholar's Rest, Thessaly, you have finished your tea, and the two of you have sat quietly there, sort of absorbing the moment, as Salix eventually stands up, and he kind of turns to the rest of you. He says, All right, um, to Flynn, the Seeker, and Oma, this has been very fun, but um, Judy calls and stands up and he walks over gets in a respectable distance away before he <clears throat> sorry to interrupt uh, Bess mm? um it's time for us to go oh okay it's fine if we go with her yes yeah yeah mm-hmm. yeah they, they can come yeah. with us it should be fine um say it may very well want to speak with all of you, um, but I know he's most interested in... Right. Right. Um, but yeah, if you take a second, but um, I just want to let you know it's coming up on time. Hey, Jess, I'm gonna miss you so much! <laughs> I'll, I'm, I'll be here if you want to come back. Well, you... you, you <laughs> <whoa. laughs> you... I love that this whole time it ha- the pages has not said anything, anything until you talk to uh, to them. Uh, and <laughs> you, you, you speak. This this is usually the reaction. I get. <laughs> yes, fantastic. Hello. Hi. I'm Sika. I'm Pages. This uh, is Flynn Delawif. Hello, Flynn. Yeah, that's Hello, me. Of the oh Iron Light Collective. Oh no. Oh. oh. oh <laughs> Great. Talk, yeah. How? Magic. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm. Mm-hmm. Hey, magic. Weird. <laughs> a, a cool. Very nice druid a long time ago. Oh. Um, cast a spell on me. I don't remember a whole lot before that. Things were kind of fuzzy, but after that, I could talk. Oh. That is super awesome. You're very big. You're very small. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Do you wish you were smaller? <laughs> no. No. Well, there are some boxes I can't fit in. <laughs> and that's frustrating. I wish I was bigger. <laughs> Why? A lot of reasons. Being small is awesome. Yeah. Hmm? 
Do you want some string? Oh. I think that's condescending. No, I just <laughs> I'm looking for things in my bag. I think so. I can talk. Do you want string? Do you want string? No string. Okay. Uh, oh, oh. Wait, see, bring it back. Oh, wait. Oh. Bring it back. Oh. oh, yes. Yeah. Like it's big. And now you see, like, as the claws, like, go out, it's like, it's got some pretty sizable some. claws on it. And yeah, it kind of takes the string and then does that, like, <laughs> that cats do, where it kind of freaks out like? a little bit and then, like, chews on it a little. And I, I, I can nudge. talk, but I'm still a cat. I nudge. What? Huh? Huh? See? Yeah. Uh, Oma? I'm gonna miss you. Aren't you staying here? I don't know. <laughs> that is the. I think we are staying here. Are we? We've not. We need to do that. Are we going somewhere? At some point. I don't know if we're staying here. We just came here for right now. I yeah, think, we might never come back. I hope we're staying here. I, hey, I, I want to see you again. I think we should go. Although, um, where are we Lynn, going? I don't know if you should meet people I'm this way. Oh, so good. What do you do? What do you need? What do you need? I'm your guy. Can Can you write? I like yeah, I can throw my arms uh, around you, huh? pages, pages and just give Pages a big hug. Kind of nuzzles into your you neck a little say. bit. Mm. Uh, I think I'll see you later, but we are staying. Here. But if not, I love you so much. <laughs> what is happening? What is? Oma? She's drank beer. You love <laughs> this just love. How long have you met this? What is? All right, Salix, would you like to lead the way? I don't know. You're quite nice, Oma. <laughs> oh, God. And in the end. <laughs> this is... No, I can't write. I don't have thumbs. Mmm. <laughs> Hard. Mmm. Yep. I didn't know where the line Got is. Got the talking down, though. Yeah. No thumbs needed. No. No. Okay. Later. Sure. Oh, sorry. Why would you do that? Are you all coming? Huh? Are you coming? We're not the door. Yeah, Let's we're do it. Let's go. Let's go. We have to go talk to the um, Captain Mc Captain Boss. No. No. Said. Commander. Say like just kind of looks at you. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I suppose maybe Flynn will wait in the hall. The world is in good hands. Oh, gods! Let's just start walking. All right. Um, we'll manage. Uh, he. Uh, yeah. He walks up to the bar and like talks uh, quickly to uh, to uh, to Bernard, the uh, that same kind of mousy young man who's been behind the bar, and he walks in the back and then comes out a second later, um, and uh, in like a little uh, a little clay mug, um, he just walks over and he hands uh, you a mug, Flynn. He goes, <laughs> he just like he grabs your hand, he puts the mug in your hand, and he goes, drink this, <laughs> and. Yeah, as you drink it, it's warm and really bitter. Um, but you kind of like, you feel the, the effects of the alcohol not really subside, but almost like dampen a little bit. This <clears throat> is <sighs> good. It's gross, but I'm glad you Yeah, it's not very it. good. No, it's terrible. It's terrible. Yeah, it's really bitter and gross, but it's, a, it's good for... Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> yeah. kind of points you up and down. Um, good when you have had too much to drink. Um, yeah, I'm a little guy. That's all right, dude. <sighs> all right. Um, yeah. And he kind of like squares himself up and like pulls back his shoulders and kind of dons the mask of the Steam Stride Warden. And you see his eyes kind of harden and his face go like really still. And um, then he walks out, uh, kind of all of you guys in tow. Um, you make your way through the Civic District back towards the Capitolium. Um, or sorry, excuse me. Um, not towards the Capitolium, but make your way through the Civic District and back towards the Central Stair uh, through the Cliffs of Sildar, which is Sildar Stairs. Um, often all three of the stairs are referred to as Sildar stairs, but they are, uh, in fact, each of them named for one of the three original adventurers who founded the various cities of Gunvaldir, uh, Westreach, or excuse me, Westreach, Ondale. Why am I saying all the countries? <laughs> <laughs> that's why, that's why, because they are named for the three founding individuals who founded the three nations of Elbor. Um, 
So there is Sildar Stair. There is... Shit, I should have pulled this up Dor- Dorn? Dornan's, yes. There's Sildar Stair, Dornan Stair, and... Tiarsa's Stair, I think. That Tiarsa? sounds right. Tiarsa's Stair? <laughs> Can't remember my own NPCs. Um... No, Tiarsa was the blacksmith. Oh. I but it is, it is like Tris, Trisra. Yeah, Trisra, Trisra. I think Queen Trisra, yeah, the first queen of Ganbol Deer. Um, but yeah, each of them are named oh, the for queen. the yeah. three founding members. Um, the queen. And, uh, but they are often collectively just referred to as Sildars. Um, Doran Stair is the furthest from the sea. Tiala's, that's what Tiala. Mm. Tiala Stair is the closest. So Sildars is the center, Tiala's is closest to the sea, and then Doran's is farthest closest to the mountains. Um, but he takes you down Sildar Stair. Um, as you walk through, again, that kind of, it's strange, like going down the stairs, entering kind of into a different world in a way. You see, again, the prevalence of a lot more smaller uh, smaller uh, folk. Um, you see uh, suddenly like a lot more gnomes, a lot more dwarves, um, who apparently find comfort and solace in the underground subterranean environment that the winding staircases and the various burrows that uh, go back into the cliffs provide. Um, you see, once again, just kind of a few points of interest, you see... Um, uh, Sebastian Sundries, that kind of odd, like green curtained, very ornate mm-hmm. building that appears to stand out in this space is larger than the rest. You see um, lots of like landings and various kind of tunnels and things like that. Um, a lot of shops and stalls that line these sort of um, rock hewn hallways as people go on about their business and um, just traipse through in this kind of wildly different section of the city uh, that looks so different than, than the rest. Um, but you eventually find yourselves going down the long, large hallway walking up to the huge bronze door uh, doors encased with the go- the cogs and gears that are the entrance to Steamstride Landing the headquarters of the wardens here within the city you pass through these open doorways and enter into the large cavernous round chamber um, you can see the entrance off to the right as various of the dragonfly mounts kind of come in and out uh, it's very busy kind of constantly in flux um, and you see is all these people wearing this sort of bronze armor. Um, not incredibly numerous, but always industrious, and kind of moving from place to place very quickly. And Salix leads you through and down the sort of long series of hallways until eventually you find yourselves once again outside of the closed doors of Nasade Kalb's office, the High Warden. Um, two Steam Stride Wardens are posted outside and they approach the Salix walks up to them and kind of just whispers something into their ear and they walk in come back out a second later pull open the door and you enter into the um, office as we enter I'll probably just um, finishing the last drop of whatever <laughs> reluctantly finish it <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll look for a place to put the mug <laughs> oh right. my god uh, <laughs> one of the steam strap wardens just wait I- See, seeing that, uh, uh, <clears throat> I can take that. Not the problem. Okay. I'll, I'll put it in my bag. Okay. No. Yeah. It, it's okay. Yeah, no. Sorry, I'm still just shaking it off. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. All right, let's go. Shake it a little harder. Okay. Yeah, okay. okay. I'm probably not going to do much Terrible harm. mistake. <laughs> Uh, and say it's kind of too late now. It's it, uh, it, it, going to be fine. Under his breath. Uh, as you all <laughs> enter into the office, you see... Um, Nasade Kalb, the same kind of um, like caramel colored skin, the almost completely white hair, close cropped. Um, as he sort of sits above his desk, he's looking down at an assortment of papers. Um, looks like he's got various like uh, different like leather folios that are open and kind of spread out um, in different places. And as you approach, he looks up and like his gaze kind of sweeps over all of you together. Miss Gwyn. Hello. Hello. I suppose you all can stay. Perhaps you have something of value to add to the conversation. Perhaps. Here to help. No, nope. we'll probably just sit here quiet. Um, probably a good idea, yeah. Over. Yeah. If you need us, we'll be here, Thessaly. Right, I just um, I thought everyone um, just might want to know about... um. Vossen, considering the threat we face. I've been brushing up, 
and he kind of looks to all of the folios that are open across his desk and you uh, as you get closer mm-hmm. Leslie, you can see that there are um, sketches drawings various like writings and files and things like that um, as he had originally kind of insinuated um, he does have dossiers on yeah. the fatal route yeah um, on everybody of every member of the team and uh, he motions to the chair at his desk sits down and he uh, picks up a, like a, a quill, basically, just a very ordinary quill, and then he kind of throws it into the air, and it stands upright on a piece of paper. Um, before, I, I assume Vesla's going to sit. I am, yeah. I would just reach out and, and touch their hand and, and give it a little squeeze. I squeeze back. All right. Um, I take a seat. Mm-hmm. What? Ask away. Very well. Well, let's start at the beginning. You said that you served with Captain Boston, is this correct? I, um, served is... I suppose that's an accurate description. Um, I... After the massacre at East Haven... Um, As you say that, he kind of looks over and kind of... Yeah. I... They took me from the city. Um, I'm a bit of an anomaly. I don't know if you can tell by looking at me. Um, And I... I was of interest to them um, for a while. At first, because I think they wanted to figure out what had happened, you see, um, that night, trying to defend uh, the youngest of my siblings, I acquired them. And I just kind of like take a really deep breath to steal myself or... Once they perished, I made an oath to Fenra. And uh, Captain Vossen and his team found that very interesting because in that moment, I managed to... Or something managed to kill some of their contingency. So I was taken aboard a ship. I was... tortured and questioned for quite a long time. And then... They were going to do away with me, and I, uh... You're familiar with Svar Grimperil. She thought I could be a useful experiment to be added to their reserve temporarily. And so, yes, I did serve with them, but, um... Let's say under duress, I just want that on whatever record you have there. Yeah, just... Yeah. It's basically just recording mm-hmm. the whole conversation, everything you've said. Svar Grimperil took an interest to you because of your heritage, I presume? Because of my heritage, because of the power I wielded after the oath. Mm. Um, Did she ever give any indication of her intentions with you? She really liked to poke and prod me. Seems to be her motif. Yes. Was that the bulk of your time then? Um, time with Svara? At first, um, for the first month, and then when they found out I could, I had some strength and I could fight, then Vossen started tutoring me himself. He <laughs> um, taught me how to use blades. They put me on some front lines of um, Tri-Point when we would face Ondalian soldiers. <laughs> Vossen himself trained you? Yes. What can you tell me about his methods? Well, I'm, I don't know what I can tell you that you, you don't already know. He's, he's vicious, he's calculating. 
He is almost impressively sadistic in the way that he can plan out incursions, invasions, and all the rest of the sort of more secretive work they have him do. (coughs) He has a weak spot. Um, Not many people know. He has an old injury on the right leg. That's important. Um, that, like, at that, the quill like, t- stops and, mm. then, like, moves off. T- 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 like, writes a different note in a mm. section. Um, and that appears to be new information to him. Um, he goes to, um, to kind of speak. He says, can this weakness be... And then he, like, stops speaking in the middle of it. And his eyes grow kind of wide for just a second. And you see, like, the muscles in his neck go taut. And then he, like, shakes. Right. Um, his methods. Can I... What What was that moment? Uh, can I roll... Can I try to figure out make what, an, why he paused? Make an insight check for yeah. me. Can I also? Like we're all here. Uh, how, how, guess, how subtle is this? Like uh, it's it, you have to be relatively close to kind of because okay. it's like yeah. he, he kind of goes to speak and it's almost like a okay. it's very subtle that he's a pretty understated is. guy. Yeah, the, we're the, also the, that was a jerk. we're further away. Yeah, and like and yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I would say a seventeen. Seventeen. Um, it almost like it looks like he was. The best way you can describe it is it looks like he was like about to say something and then like almost could um and then just moved on from it as though and maybe maybe I didn't roll high enough but like as though he was emotionally or social like from within his person was stopped by something or because an external force or some yeah. kind of like does that make sense yeah 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 um hmm. like was it motivated by him, something within himself or was it arcane in nature hard to tell hard to tell yeah mm-hmm. with that rule hard to tell um. Yeah, it just looked like you know when when you know when you bite back something that you're gonna say you're mm-hmm. like, uh, like it's it's very brief. It was very very brief, but okay. you catch it because um, you're just sitting so close to him. Okay. Um, but he says, old injury. That is uh, new and useful information. Great. And there is like a weird thing. Like it almost. You did roll pretty high. It almost is like he doesn't notice he did it. Oh. Like he picks back up as if like the hesitation that I had probably didn't portray it well enough, but like there's this like weird like attempt to say something and then it move it like he glazes right over it. Okay. So um I can I can I take like I'm listening to whatever he yeah, says yeah. next, but like so going into <laughs> um I'm on high alert when talking about this anyway. Yeah, it's yeah. a very yeah, yeah, yeah. Subject. Um, can I just get a periphery around the room? Absolutely. Make a perception check for me. Okay. No. I'm going to use my new dice. Ooh, all right. New dice. Love new dice. Let's go new dice. No! Maybe let's not go let's new not dice. Let's not go new dice. <laughs> get it out of here. <laughs> Sometimes you want to drop it, I guess. <laughs> you just, you know... <laughs> Okay, we... It's a 10. It's a 10. Um, As you look around the room, I mean, this room is, yeah, it's it's very well guarded, very well sealed. You see Salix and your your, your, your friends. That's it. Could I notice... Would would it be obvious that you're looking around the room? Could I I pick up S looking... Mm -hmm. Or is this just like a, you're just, you guys you're all, in a conversation, you're just kind of glancing within, because you're not trying to be I'm obvious not, in front not, of him, I'm right? purposefully not being obvious because I don't want him to notice yeah. and I don't want alarm to be set within the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I yeah, have yeah. Also a mine. feeling. Yeah, makes, you're not like... <laughs> no, no, no. I'm probably getting up out of yeah. my shit. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's, it's more like it's more of just like uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, kind of, yeah. So I would say because like That's the way. Is, so Nasade is facing you guys, but like they're kind of catty corner. Like he's mm-hmm. he's very close. Like just, yeah, yeah. he's also he's in watching you. Yeah. Um, to attempt to see if there's any effort at deception. Like yeah. he's 
this is a very comfortable interrogation, but it is one. Mm -hmm. Um, And so he's very close to you. So for that reason, I would say, no, like you don't see Thessaly clock it uh, or the attempt to kind of like sweep or scan the room real quick. Mm -hmm. Um, But um, he says like he makes note of the the weakness that you did say. Um, You spoke to being poked and prodded and then Captain Boston took you under his wing and continued to train you. So you were involved with several altercations. Did you ever leave Dry Point Island? Only, only on ship in the water to, uh, we would delay cargo Mm -hmm. or envoys of important shipments heading to Ondale, Mm -hmm. but they didn't trust me on soil outside of the island because rightfully so they were afraid I might, um, Jump ship, as it were. Did you ever try to escape? Thought about it. So no. Not until I actually did. Um. Right, like the the quill kind of stops. Mm-hmm. Like when you say quill stops. Pot, like he pauses a moment keeps going just like again kind of a slight like weird kind of pause so you say and then he just keeps going same thing like doesn't even realize that he paused um if this plot to attempt if the attempt on the queen's life is indeed to take place what methods do you believe he would employ to do so he would infiltrate whatever protective systems you have he he used to like to brag about how he infiltrated East Haven (laughs) the alarm bells that Lord Farron had in place never went off Um, he knew we all knew in East Haven that we were susceptible to a potential attack we were poor we have a major, very important export. But it by the time that they were on us, none of the guards even at any of the doors of the estate gave a signal. They came in and they slaughtered everyone efficiently. And you survived because of your aforementioned abilities. By the grace of Fenra. He kind of squints, clocks the disdain. (laughs) Yeah. You mentioned he has physical weaknesses. Any blind spots in his thinking? Any, um, any flaws of personality that can be exploited? I take a moment to, like, think Mm -hmm. about that. I hate to say it, he's not flawed in any of the ways that he executes his plans. They are... And I'm just like, I'm resistant to like, almost like give a compliment. Mm -hmm. They are perfectly executed. They are perfectly thought out. They are thoroughly imagined. He does not make mistakes. And when he plans something, There are always layers. He's quite fond of... He's quite fond of entertaining himself with his own plan. Like the note, the... The uh, quill kind of makes a note. When you work with him, it's... You sort of pick up on it. It's almost like a... Theatricality, but no one's there to witness it because by the end of it everyone is dead what can you tell me of the other members of his team well I and I kind of look over to the desk to see the Mm -hmm. dossiers um sounds like you've got a full list um Spargrim Peril she uh just as evil just as cruel Mm -hmm. She's tough to contend with in terms of uh, her arcane prowess. 
there's um how much do you know about Meryl and Darren? Little. Everyone underestimates her, but she is impressive. Impressive in what way? Her skills in wizardry are unparalleled. Like a long kind of note gets made. Does she have an affinity for any type of magic? And I think back because I am not great at identifying mm-hmm. what types of magic people do. <laughs> well, mm-hmm. well established. Uh, yeah, well established. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I almost feel like a blush creeps into my cheeks because I'm embarrassed. Mm-hmm. Um, she doesn't heal people. And um, then I kind of like look over at Flynn and then look over at Ulma. Yeah, com- combative. Mm-hmm. <laughs> combative. <laughs> the best descriptor. Offensive magics. Yes. And the rest. Um, Hadrix Halgard is their um, artificer. If there is detonation or anything that needs to be... Go kaboom! He does that. Um, he's the only one that if you were to capture any of them, he might be willing to talk. I like that's a very double underlined circle note that is made. Bane Trester. They... Arguably one of the most skilled warriors in all the Kaldurian military. I wouldn't even want to fight him, so... He's, um, he's not cruel. He can't be baited maybe the same way Savara or Vossen can. But he has no regard for life, including his own. He lacks the hubris, then, of Vossen. Yes, Zavar. which I might argue makes him more dangerous. <laughs> and I want to cut to the rest of the AOR for just a minute. Um, during this time, as you guys are listening, is there anything that you wish to either do, or anything that you, any of you particularly make note of, or all of it? Can I catch your eye, Kellick? <clears throat> sure. Yeah. Uh, I, as I catch your eye, I reach out my hand and mimic opening a door, and then I, <laughs> I motion. Uh, I start. I start counting. I'm like. And I kind of shrug, like, <laughs> and I'll shrug again. I, I, I <clears throat> shrug and show a look of complete <laughs> befuddlement. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, but I will also, at the mention of, um, I'm playing his name, Vasen. Mm. At the mention of Vasen, um, enjoying the theatrics of his plans, mm-hmm. I will take a second look around the room Okay. because how fun would it be to have to have Vasen be interviewing us about himself or something to the, to the oh, this, wow. this is the kind of maniac yeah, like, we're kind dealing of like with. voyeurism almost. Yeah, like, like, like okay. what kind of creep are yeah, we doing? Like, yeah, yeah. Are they here That's mm. in some capacity? Uh, go ahead and make uh, a, a perception or investigation check, your choice. Um, why? Huh? No, oh. I just, I didn't, I didn't Do I, do I have advantage on that, investigation? Like, <laughs> you still have advantage on investigation, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, okay. I hate when you do that. I'd be so angry. What? <laughs> he rolls his right? dice in a tray full of dice, so there's no, it like stops the dice from rolling <laughs> because I, they I hit wrong. another dice. Everybody's, everybody's ticks about how the we others roll their... I love we it. We accept all We do not. We, 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 roll is the best. We, we, we will shame, but we also accept. <laughs> That's right. That's I do right. not accept. Uh, I seven, do not seven, accept. 17. Okay. Um, as you look around the room, yeah, I mean, I, I'd say you don't... There's nothing that, sure. that shows up. You know, yeah. you see... Uh, a nice office. Um, you see, you know, his clockwork dragon is sitting over there, just like apparently powered down. 
his armor on the stand behind him, just like before. Um, there's there's really no uh, nothing that stands out in particular to you. Um, I will say that you also notice um, Salix is the is also kind of like just like alerted, a very alert yeah. right now. Yeah. Um, and and is also uh, like there's also a look on his face of it's hard to place, but like he's being affected by what Thessaly is describing. Okay. Um, yeah. Hearing it spoken out loud is, I think Kellogg's insightful enough. Like, he's ma- trying to mask it well, but. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Right. You get it. It's touching him. Yeah. Um, are there any other entrances to this room beyond just the front door that we entered from? Yeah, the, there's right. the doors and then the, the, like, open porticos that you can just, like, fly out of. Better fly okay. out of. But outside of those, you don't see any additionals okay. now. And then, um, I want to kind of put Cecily and her and, and their like conversation to the side mm-hmm. and see if I can hear anything in the room that seems out of place. Oh, okay. Make your choice of, I, I, this, I think hearing perception, go ahead and make okay. a perception check for me. Just like kind of closing your eyes almost. And- mm-hmm. Um, perception, mm-hmm. also a 17. 17. 17. Yeah. 17. 17. Yeah. Here we go. You like it. Mm-hmm. You really like it. Yeah, but we're all gonna roll on the same thing. It's a slightly different thing that we're looking for, but. Mm-hmm. You hear the wind like coming through this place. This kind of like that, like that sound. Um, Not a bad roll. And because you're specifically looking, you said you're listening, right? Mm-hmm. You hear like a very, 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 very faint, like like a like a whistle almost. The sound of air going through a small space. I wanna okay, I'm gonna try and like shift mm-hmm. conspicuously. Okay. To try not or non conspicuously. Inconspicuously. Inconspicuously. Inconspicu- 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 Yes. Try not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. not conspicuously, obviously. Um, to try and find that, like small. Sound. Okay. Um, interesting. Make make a stealth check for me. Just to, or actually, you know what? So this is this is. I'm gonna I can make, make a, stealth, a I mean, performance check because stealth is about like not being seen and I've always thought that like you can't stealth through an area where there's people and nothing to hide and it's brightly yeah. right, but you can kind of like try to pretend like you're just like mm. especially Meandering. kid maybe Meandering. you're just kind yeah. of wandering like around a you're a yeah. kid so yeah. make a performance check for me makes sense dirty 20 nice. dirty 20 nice. okay um, Olma as you sort of like you, you pick up that sound on the wind and you sort of start to meander your way and you guys see like Oma just kind of looks like she gets bored <laughs> and then just like walks off and starts kind of like wandering around the office. Um, Salix like clocks you do it and you see Nasade like look over his shoulder and then immediately dismiss it. Mm-hmm. Um, but you eventually kind of approach and there is kind of a like a sconce over about 40 feet or so. This is a big office. So about 40 feet over to your left or so, there's like a, um, for lack of a better term, like a reading nook. It's kind of like, and you can see that there are stone shelves and things like that with like books. And, mm-hmm. uh, they're not stone shelves, but like very beautiful, like bronze inlaid wooden mm-hmm. bookshelves with like what look like histories of the steam stride wardens and like mm-hmm. the city and stuff. And as you get closer, that sound grows. Like you hear that same as you, as you approach and get close to the bookshelves. I, I want to find it. Oh my it. gosh! You, as you see, like oh you stand next to the bookshelves and you can hear like a like there is wind moving. What sounds like underneath or like into one of the bookshelves, like as if it's a door. Door. There's something behind it. Yeah. Yeah. There's space through which wind from the open airways into what you gather is something behind it. Yeah. Yeah. An open passageway of some kind. Okay, I'm gonna slowly meander my way back to Kellick. <laughs> All right, meander back. Um, I sort of put a hand on his shoulder as if to be like, "Stop 
Stop wiggling. Stop wiggling. Now he's down. Fidgeting. And, and I take my foot and I tap his toe with it. Uh-huh. Until, he, and then I kind of. I look down. And I, like, tilt my head towards the bookshelf. Mm-hmm. And I, like, tap my ear. Mm-hmm. And I listen. Uh, what's At your passive? <laughs> He's got a really high yeah, passive. Yeah, you do have a, you do yeah. Have a high. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. You do have a high passive. And I rolled a 17. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, like now that Olma points it out. Yeah. Like you hear that kind of weird discordant, like the sound of, because like the wind That's flowing different. through an open space is yeah. very different than wind. And we all know that sound of like wind, like, you know, when the windows crack the yeah. car and you hear that like, yeah. That's what it sounds mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. and like it's it's very difficult to hear. It's like very faint. Uh-huh. The, like the fact that Ol- Olma heard it from this far away, mm-hmm. um, but she was looking for it. And you were not. Mm-hmm. So now that you hear it, yeah. you're like, you you're not sure what it means. I, I but narrow my eyes and I just give a, a soft nod to Olma, and I'll just have one eye on that bookshelf. Okay. I guess. Yeah. Cool. Um. Back to, mm-hmm. back to Thessaly and um, and Nasaid. The he's just keeps kind of asking you questions. Mm-hmm. Um, at this point, it's it's more like just points of clarification. He asks you about your time on TriPoint Island, the specific methods that you were trained in. Um, does Captain Boston have any like uh, what does he fight with? Like what what? tools does he use yeah. does he have any um any like what's the name of his ship what does it look like um does he halt or stilt again at any point in that like for for the next i will say like just because i can't come up with enough questions to ask you oh, yeah, no, <laughs> for yeah, the yeah. next 20 or 30 minutes like oh, he keeps doing that and during that time no <clears throat> During the next 20 or 30 minutes, as he's like asking you all of these questions, he does not do that halting thing or stop or space out anymore during that time. You two, keeping your eyes close together, like close. No, nothing comes from that corner. Nothing mm-hmm. happens. You just keep an eye on it. Yeah. Yes. Hannah, this is going to sound... Hit me. I've, I've got something. Okay. Um, this may be insane. Yeah. So go <laughs> ahead and tell me if it's insane. Uh-huh. I don't want to do anything that like requires a feature or an action or a bonus action because Nasate is interrogating me and I don't <laughs> want to like I don't want to have his attention make me think that I uh, give him any reason to distrust me. Right. But I can't shake that weird feeling after <laughs> the even even though 20 minutes has passed and <laughs> he still hasn't done it. <laughs> so with my aura of courage. Uh-huh. Right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um I am immune to being Right. Right. However, I'm wondering if there is a way that, like, I have control and agency over that and can douse it because the one person that I would be very, very afraid of Mm -hmm. would be would be Vossen. Ooh, uh, that's first to see if I get some chills up my spine. Yeah. Uh, Some spooky vibes, maybe. Spooky vibes. Oh my goodness. The words out of my mouth. Uh, okay, so, no, no, no. I like. I was literally about to. That's perfect. I'm sorry. Perfect. I apologize. I, no, no, no. Took, was, I took the moment from no, you. You did it. You did it. You you amplified it as be- better than I could have. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. I was like, yes. Okay. So, as you like that that burgeoning courage, you always feel that mm. kind of almost refusal, like through force of will, to just not be afraid mm. to to feel it, but never give in to it. Right. Right, I've always loved that. That like a paladin's not like immune to fear because they don't feel it. They're immune because they choose to act in spite of it. Yes. And but for a moment, you let that go. Mm-hmm. You let it drop. You put yourself back there in the cage where they kept you, and you remember the smells of Tripoint and that night in the chapel, and you let that fall away. Go to make a spooky vibes check for mm. me. Uh, I want to. I want to use. I want to use this dice tray. <laughs> I know it doesn't matter. It matters. Air if you think quote. it matters. It doesn't. <laughs> Objectively, it does not. Rise. I love the perspective. It's solid, my favorite part. Solid space for that. I'm not right. gonna drop this one. Okay. 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 Wait, well, what, is it just straight? D twenty plus your wisdom. Oh, uh, my wisdom. Yeah. yeah. 
No offense to your tray, Rodney. I, I don't take any. <laughs> Twelve. Twelve. Um, as you like reach out and you kind of just take stock of the room and you almost let that the your 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 gut instinct wash out through the room. You you don't you're almost certain mm. Captain Boston is not here. He's not near. Okay. There's something Wrong. weird about Nasade. Something you can't you have no idea what it is, but like the behavior is weird, and it's not so much the behavior as so much his own inability to see that he's done it. Um, but beyond that, you you are suddenly confident. In fact, you're confident that there's nobody else in your vicinity beyond the people that are visible here in the room. Okay, or just yeah. I just bite my cheek at this like kind of, and I let the I let the comfort of the aura of courage and kind of come back. Yeah, annoyingly, like, think to how much Fenra has actually benefited me for a moment. Um, and we'll continue to answer whatever questions he has. All right. Um, after, as I said, about 30 minutes of just continuous, and he does, like, he writes new notes. You give him a lot of new information. Mm -hmm. The thing that you're able to provide that nobody else has ever been able to provide is not just, like, a dossier on, like, their skills and abilities and their mm -hmm. appearances, but, like, their personalities, who these people are, yeah. their weaknesses, and that's a lot of what he tries to get into is he's trying to get into the head of Vossen. Um, He's trying to get in the head of the rest of the Fatal Reserve. But he, after about 20 or 30 minutes, eventually, he like sits and he thinks and looks up and I think that concludes my questions for you. Oh. All told everything lasts about an hour. Well, um, so I'm, I'm, I'm free to go. I. Yes. What, what about the queen though? I'll see to it. Mm. I caught that last mm -hmm. one. I looked to Salix. Mm -hmm. And then I... I look around at everyone else. Mm -hmm. Do we believe him? Make an insight check for me. You can make an insight check as well, Thessaly. You're standing right there. Let's do it. <laughs> Uh, 17. 17? Again. Yeah. Good. I'll roll for Salix as well. 24. Um, you're sitting there and you're looking him in the eyes. He is telling the 100% truth. He does appear to be genuinely concerned for the queen. And he, when he says, like, I'll see to it, and again, it's weird because he does that. He does that pause where he, like, totally blanks, and then he comes back, doesn't appear to notice the pause, and says, I see, I'll see to it, with the confidence of the high commander of the Steamstread Wardens. Mm, I'm thinking, the incongruousness okay. of it is weird. I'm thinking back, mm -hmm. and I'm not good at recognizing what is what kind of magic. I'm okay. just, I'm not. yeah, yeah. But I think back to things that Meryl can do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Have mm -hmm. I ever oh, seen her ooh. do anything like this? Make a... Ooh. Like... You know what? Almost. You know them all so intimately well. This doesn't require a role. Um, Meryl is very powerful. Yeah. yeah. Arguably the most powerful arcanist you've ever met. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, wow. Does... Yeah. But like mind control <laughs> or like domination or like any sort of like control like that's not doesn't her apply bad. to her. No. Okay. She okay. is a she is a uh, a destructive force on the right. battlefield. Okay. She is um she manipulates uh not people but matter. <laughs> um, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. okay. So she yeah like you think back and none of them really like. Vossen is a cult of personality, and he is sure. arguably one of the more forceful personalities you've ever met. But does it, like, as you kind of scroll through the Rolodex of, of all of their abilities, since you last met them, mm -hmm. none of them had that level of, of nuance of control. of control. Does this appear... Does 
uh, Nasaid appear to be under the influence of magic? Is that something I can assess? Like, uh, if you wanted to, I mean, you could cast detect magic. Cool. Uh, mm-hmm. Nah. Okay. <laughs> I, don't, I, I already fucked up in this room once. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Fair enough. Right. Fair uh, enough. Yeah, so um, without without the aid of, of a sense about, to, to, yeah. to determine, um, I, inter- oh, okay, yeah, because I'm not it's sure if like, I would have encountered anything like this before, but there's clearly a disjoint here. It's weird, but it's really difficult to place. Like, there's yeah. no, there's no obvious signs. There's right. no, he doesn't like, glow. He doesn't like. <laughs> yeah, like there's yeah. no external signs beyond right. these three mm-hmm. odd. And we don't, and we don't know this guy at all. Like these weird and like. Obviously, like I would like in, I, I don't know. It's 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 hard to determine. I don't think yeah. it, it's just like it's noteworthy and it's odd. But he doesn't appear like you know that none of the Fatal Reserve can do that, and there are no obvious effects on him right now. Um, yeah, it's just. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually kind of like lean in a little closer. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What kind of precautions have you already taken? Well, uh, we have inspected the remaining steel predators that are um, intended to guard the queen. They appear untampered with by all of our looks. We have, um, we're ensuring that the queen has at least five steam stride wardens with her at all times currently. Um, and she's well guarded within the Capitolium. We've. Has she been moved? No. She is attending to the governance today. She's within the Capitolium, within the parliamentary chambers at the moment. I've just come from a high council meeting within the hour. She's well guarded. And to penetrate that deep into the Capitolium, even for someone as accomplished as Vossen, I would imagine would be incredibly difficult. At that, I bristle. You trust every single one of the steam stride wardens that is guarding her right now i do my concern is that the predator <laughs> was a distraction from well i think he wanted he likes to play games if we come to you with this thing that's supposed to guard the queen and we report to you that it's malfunctioned, you've checked all of them, right? Did that divert your attention from anything else you should have been doing at the time? No. I've seen to my duties to the best of my ability. And... There is an element of him that's that him that's starting to bristle as well at the oh, maybe okay. insinuation. I like oh. it's not at the surface yet, but you can tell that this is a man who does take great pride in his job. Right. Um and um he he says, I've done everything within my power. I've inspected the remaining steel predators, I have ensured that the guard that is upon her are trusted, they are members of my team. We have inspected the Capitolium, we have inspected the council chambers, I was just in there myself, and I've seen nothing. Please, understand. We are taking precautions, and I am doing everything I can. But, these small occurrences, so far, what you have is a malfunctioning machine that we cannot attribute to anything other than a malfunction. And the words of your friends. And I understand the faith that has put stock into what you claim to be the delivery mechanism by which you've heard of this, but I can only go on the facts as I know them. I've also given the descriptions of the Fatal Reserve out to every member of my team. No one has been spotted. I wouldn't. They'd be in disguise. Is- I'm... Look, I'm not trying to accuse you of doing a poor job, but you'll forgive me if I'm a little paranoid and overly cautious considering the last experience I had being on the receiving end of one of his operations. I understand. Is there anything that you would suggest I do that I haven't already? (sighs) 
I look to Salix. He's standing there, and when you look to him, he steps forward. I don't mean to... I mean no disrespect, I warn, but would you mind if I looked into a few other things? With your blessing, of course. Hi, Warden. Permission granted. Just nods to him like, yeah, whatever you want to look at, dude. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Um, in the coming days, is the queen expected to be doing anything, um, in front of people or, I don't know, Commander Vossen or anything, but if I were trying to make a point of assassinating someone, I might want an audience. Um. Queen has a scheduled appearance in two days at the High Forum. In two days? Yes. And she's still going to do that even after the information we've given you? She's going to appear in public. I... Until... I have something a little better to go on. Okay, okay. I have um, to maintain the queen's schedule. Can... Can we help? I mean, I understand that you don't trust what sent us, but... Um, an angel did send us, and they sent us for a reason, because they thought out of everybody in all of Elbor that we could help. So that means the gods trusted us to help. And I'm not saying you have to believe the gods or anything, because I don't know if I do, but... But there's got to be something to that, right? Oma, roll a persuasion check for me. Come on, Oma. Come on. I did not have alcohol, so I do not have alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Only I was drunk. Gosh dang. Why don't they serve off? a year old? We just let a kid drink. <laughs> It's mm. okay, it's okay. Charisma class. Oh, <laughs> 17. Oh, jeez. The number of the session. That is okay. the number of the session. Yeah, wait. Hold. Oh, do some sorcerer things. Sorcery. Hold, please. I need to see if I have it. Tides of Chaos? Um, I don't bend. have Tides of Chaos, bend. but luck. Oh, I can bend, bend that luck. I don't think I've done it. Have you I done it? You got a short rest. I don't know if that gets it back. Did... Did didn't your, in the did fight. your um did your wild magic surge go off in the fight with the steel predator? No. It didn't. No. No. Didn't it? Didn't you get resistance to did, you got resistance to something that didn't really necessarily help, but yeah. it was a thing. Was that this fight? I feel like uh -huh. this was the first fight in a long time. But I have wi my wild magic's at an eight right now. So oh. it might have gone off and then gone back up to eight, but right Weird. now yeah, my wild magic's at an eight. For some reason, I thought that was this. It did go fight, off, but, but it didn't go off. Because um, I know when it goes off, you immediately recharge Ben Luck, I think. Or maybe that's Tides of Chaos. That's I don't Tides remember which. So. Um, no, it, and that's also not. It says the DM can make you mm. I wait until that happens. Um, um, I don't recall if I used. There's not a button to press for Ben just, Luck. It just gives you advantage on a roll, right? No, I, I get to roll a d4. I can expend two sorcery oh, points to roll okay. a d4. If you'd like, go ahead. I'll see. We'll say yeah. I mean, I don't recall you using it in the fight or at any point today, so. I don't either. <laughs> oh, you're... Wait. If, as long as you have sorcery points, I guess, right? Yeah, I think as long as you have sorcery points. So if you got sorcery points, you can do it. Oh, you're right. Yeah. I do, because I had a short rest, so I do have two. Hey, also, yeah. we're, we're doing short rest. Everyone got a short rest? Everybody yeah. got a short rest. Okay, oh, yeah. If we drank or whatever, Everybody that's fine. Got, yeah, okay. They're, like your time in the Scholar's Rest, it's Thessaly's time okay. up on the mountains, like cool. all short rest. At this point now, we're probably getting on like four in the afternoon at this point, three, four in the afternoon. Travel time. Okay, I am going to roll a d4. Okay. I have a really cool d4. Where's that really cool d4? There it is. <laughs> uh... Okay, so I'm bending my luck. I'm going to add a d4 to my roll. So I had a 17 plus. Uh, that's a dirty 20. Dirty 20. Nice. Get him. Ooh, <laughs> dirty 20. He folds his hands. How would you offer to help? Um. Ooh. If 
well, I haven't thought about it, but there's lots of ways I can help. Um, one of the ways that I can help is I can be a distraction. Um, I can make myself look identical to the queen. Or I can make anybody look identical to the queen. Um, and I could make lots of people look identical, identical to the queen. So she can be in lots of places at once. And maybe that means that the one queen can actually be somewhere very, very safe. And doesn't have to give the speech, but a queen can give the speech at the forum. Captain Salix. And he like, yes, sir. Says, I trust your judgment. If anything they propose is too outlandish, run it through my office. Otherwise, do what you wish. With the express consent and permission of the captain and Salix just not. Understood, sir. No. Can we put the queen in a bunker? (laughs) 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 That, I'm afraid, is outside of the realm of what's possible currently. Does she know that someone's coming to kill her? She's been informed. And she doesn't want to hide. You don't know the queen, do you? <laughs> well, I've never met her. Um, she is a force of a woman. I believe her response was, let them try. Oh, no. So. Oh, no. It, it kind of comes with the job. Anyway, and he like closes up the folio, stands up. I do have many other things to attend to. Please do understand, I am treating this with the priority and the attention that it deserves, and I've put one of my best on it. And he looks over your shoulder at Salix. I wish you the best. I will call upon you again if I need you. Thank you. And you. And he reaches out to shake your hand. I'll take his hand and shake it. Um... When you when you take his hand and shake it, you he grabs hold of your hand and like there's a moment where he squeezes it and then his eyes kind of go wide again and it's gone in a flash and then he just smiles <sighs> and lets you. When okay, can somebody do the tech magic? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can somebody just fucking it. try? None of us saw that. I know. That's so that's so subtle. There's no only, way. Only yeah, I, saw these. I know. Only Thessaly sees it. I don't get any of my spells back on a short rest. No, you <laughs> don't. <laughs> you get channel divinities and no wait do you I don't remember I get my channel divinity yeah doesn't help me <laughs> yes okay hold on do the thing do the thing yeah No, I don't know. I, I don't. I just, I don't. Okay. Do we catch her frustration? Are there frustrations? I, no, I'm keeping it under wraps too. I'm not trying to like let any, I'm really not trying to like. There's, we don't have a lot of, there's not a lot of options. She's facing away from you and like 40, 50 feet away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, and, I'm, and I don't want to set anything. I'm purposefully not trying to set anything off. Like right. I don't want to. So, yeah. We're on so, yeah, best I behavior. Just, <laughs> So I shake his hand okay. and I just um why? So um Salix will be with us. With he'll be he'll be around. Correct. Great. Let's get to it. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much. And he turns back, sits down, kind of starts organizing his notes. And I am marching with purpose out that door yeah. like I'm, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm ushering almost. Yeah, I mean the door. Yeah, but I, I'm like but I'm like looking at Kellogg and looking back at that bookcase. Yeah, being... I'm, I'm nodding feverishly. <laughs> <way. laughs> oh my! Uh, <laughs> fucking no! <laughs> so funny. It's such a it's dad. It's like... Let's get out of here. Oh my god! Awesome. I'm like, but Kellogg. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you all take your leave of the offices of Nasade Kalb, the High Warden of the Steamstride Wardens, and exit. Uh, Salix escorts you guys down the hallway. Um, and back out into kind of the antechamber area. 
basically kind of like just out of the office and like oh, down the halls away until yeah. you're kind of in again that like big open circular antechamber and uh, kind of turns and so well some place we can speak privately a, a place where I'd settle for a broom closet at this point can we just I need what someone can't hear us yeah quickly cool <laughs> <laughs> Turns, he like turns on his heel um, and uh, like starts walking out. Uh, you guys walk through the city. He takes you down uh, the so like nor- you go normally out through the uh, cliffs, the uh, the stairs to Sildar, and rather than like hanging a right basically and continuing and heading back up towards the upper districts, he takes you left and you go down. Uh, and he takes you like down the stairs through until eventually you come out of the bottom of mm. the Cliffs of Sildar and you see uh, the rest of the city like Ooh. sort of splayed out before you guys. Um, you begin walking and the Cliffs of Sildar kind of let out basically like right at the border of the Anvil and Shadehaven districts. Mm. So you can see kind of like off to the right, you see um, you see the ocean, you can see kind of the docks. And you see, like, buildings off to your right tend to be, like, a little bit larger, a little more um, uh, Mm. industry-driven. And he kind of takes you left, and you skirt along the the Cliffs of Sildar, and very quickly enter into the shade of these same cliffs. And eventually kind of turns you right down a main thoroughfare. And you guys walk for a good, like, 20 minutes or so, almost 30 minutes, before eventually you come to what looks like a um, very small, like, townhome. Um that is in the Shadehaven district of the city. And out front, you can see that there is a, um, uh, just like a a nice little well-maintained little flower garden on like the windows. And you're gonna make me cry, stop looking at me. Sorry. Um, You can see that there is a nice, (laughs) a nicely maintained little garden like out front. Um, And uh, it's just, you know, quaint white building, um, about two, yeah, two stories and he takes you into his home. And I tear up. As you open the door, you can see, uh, yeah, walking <laughs> through the front, you can see that he does carefully tend to the plants out front. And as you open it up, it's it's nice. Like it's it's well furnished. Um, it it is very much decorated and um, adorned in a very similar way to the cottage you all lived on, uh, lived in, in, and. Um, you see that above the mantelpiece, he has several of your sketches from um, times past where, and he like, he kind of like looks at him and then he just like clears his throat and uh, welcome to my pad. (laughs) Um, You have a nice home. I recently just got a home. So I know how hard it is to maintain a home like this (laughs) and you've done a great job. (laughs) Thank you. I just let that go. Yeah. <laughs> he looks to you all up. for some sort of explanation. She no, understood she, the child uh, owns She owns a house. Okay. It, yeah, it's true. She's dead. She, had, she inherited the house. Long story. Um, yes, being a homeowner is, uh, well, it's a significant time. Of it's a lot of, of time and money. responsibility. It is indeed a lot of responsibility. Um, Where's your keeper? I no. Um, uh, oh, my no, God. Everyone. No. Let's, um. Seriously, <laughs> why do we do it? Perhaps it's best that we get to the master's hand. Queen. Um, and uh, yeah, he like uh, see it. Let's all let's all gather around. Dad would be so proud of you. Um, oh. and I like wipe away a tear. I'm concerned. Did you pick up on the high wardens? No, just not, one. Not just once. Once. I think he did it somewhere in the middle. He had a four times. Long pause. He almost it's the only one I saw halted but then it was like he didn't know that he had paused and he just plowed right ahead and I didn't, and a, I didn't see that I just heard him pause for a long time that, but that's it Leslie what are you talking about no if he hadn't been sitting so close to me I don't know that I would have necessarily picked up on it and I don't know him the way that you do but it was almost as though something else was was stilting him in in and I don't, I don't know, and I don't know how, I think... The first time it happened, it was about the weaknesses of Captain Vossen. That's yes. the part that sticks out to me. Yes. Uh, and then at the end, when he shook my hand... It happened then, too? Yes. What did he do? What did he say? He didn't, he just... 
said thank you and that I don't know I don't also what's behind his bookshelf what there's a bit of a well I think there's a secret room back there or something. oh yeah does he have I a, a little room? buzz 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 and I walked over and that's why I was buzz. walking possible I mean he could have a, a safe with his private possessions he could sure. have a I don't know, a bolt hole or escape route. Uh, he's a high commander of the Steam Stride Wardens. He's one of the most powerful people in our room or something. Government, it could be. You don't know about it. I, I would know. It's not too much of a. Something was wrong with that conversation, Salix. Something was not right. I think something was affecting him, and I, I don't know if it was it was magical or if it was. I think I think the first part of this infiltration to get to the Queen has already started. Something that Something's stops wrong. him from asking about Vasin's weakness, right? What were the, what, are, there, the are there time. any more consistencies? And then... The, the queen saying that he was going to tend to the queen, right? When he said... Oh my gosh, DM, remind me. <laughs> Short-term memory. <laughs> it was... Um, it, when he said the queen had been made aware, wasn't that another time? Or he was in a you said, of it. No, you said, said yeah, I'll you basically like, yeah. he, it was, what about the queen? And then it was like a long pause. He said, I'll see to it. It was also right after I asked it um, during the checking of the other predators. He paused there too mm-hmm. and said Correct. that he, I, I asked if their attention had been diverted from any activity while they were, had been tasked with like doing quality control on those. Right. And he paused then too. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Do, do I am I aware of magic? That, am I aware of the level of magic that can change the way somebody thinks? Is that something that oh. like I am? I, oh, uh, hmm, interesting. I mean, you're a very you're a powerful cleric. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, I mean, you've you've been around enough that there are very powerful spells that can that can control a person for usually a very finite amount of time though. yeah mm-hmm. um as far as like spells yeah. um yeah that's that's, that's if it, kind, even if it's know. just the vegas notion yeah just the- like i mean there are there are definitely forces things spells certain magics and probably powerful artifacts mm-hmm. that could alter someone's behavior maybe change the way like like yeah right. something like that okay um so yeah you're aware that that is a thing that okay. exists in the world for sure uh this is pretty major conjecture, but what if he didn't tend to the predators and something made him think that he had? Because he was telling the truth. He was. But only as far as he knows, right? Oh, you think... Okay. M- maybe something affected his, his recollection of events? Well, Salix is part of this group. Can you do double check and make sure that the things he said he checked on he did yeah also i'm sure the queen is like super cool and thinks that she can do anything and that's rad i i support that you know um but like (laughs) oh oma (laughs) (laughs) but like i would really just like to know for sure that she knows that someone's coming to kill her because if i knew that someone was coming to kill me which I did know that someone was coming to kill me at some point. And I was a little careful. Uh-uh. Wasn't I? Mm-hmm. Little. Um, a, a little. Apparently. Well, trying to solve the problem. The, Timeline-wise. Yeah. I talked to Mo Wei before or after the meeting that Nasaid said he had. After. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, I did mention to, uh, a trusted uh, cleric from the temple here, from Aetherhune, that the queen was in danger and he's going to run it up the chain. You mean, you so mean there the are... same trusted clerics that Artemisia used to head? No, oh. this one's different. Oh. He's a friend. Okay, good. He's, uh, he's challenged authority before. Well then, we like him. Certain disregard for the rules. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think that's the first thing. I I want to take a look at. I want to. Can we get clearance to see these predators? 
I don't think it's Seems the like same. we only have two days. Uh, I can. I don't know if I can get the rest of you. And it's, uh, Why not? Because it's a top secret facility. It, I, but uh, who has access to it? He does. No. Me? So who else? N- me, the High Warden, a few other members. Could you get me, uh, in, could you get me images of them? <laughs> images? Um. Yeah, like, could I know what they look like? Hmm? I can go and check on them. It, or at least request. The, I can go. I can go and check you on them. Go. Um. But, yeah. This. But other people can go with you. We, no, we don't, I wouldn't be allowed yeah. in. We, Oma. we but don't. I can make everyone look like somebody else, and then you can get in. What are you pretending like I am useless no. here? No. Nobody's saying I that. I make Oma. you look like. There's a delicate Commander balance we're trying to maintain here. On- I, I don't Why? even know this. Even if we all looked like... I understand what Salix is saying. Even if we all look like Steam Stride Wardens, I don't even think that many Steam Stride Wardens have that level of access Great. to go in and inspect. So it would make look you suspicious. look like a specific one. Uh. Oh, I... That could put Salix in a lot of trouble if we were found out. Okay, and then we might not get to do what we need to do. Dying. Well, well, tell you what. I can go check on the facility. Is there any other leads that you want to run down? Um, you want to I, inspect? I, 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 I have, have a thought, but you go. Thought too. You said that the Vastin likes layers. Yes. So, checking the predators is a good, like, that's one thing. One layer, yes. High four. That was a great question. When you check places, mm-hmm. how do you how do you ensure that they are safe? Do you have thieves? Do you have people who look to infiltrate places, look at them? That would be me. Yeah. How, We're good, how tra- good are you? <laughs> <laughs> yes! I'm like, look at yes! my eyes go wide. <laughs> uh, there's the whole <laughs> Uh, we are gonna. That's so funny. Okay. Um, He's over here like I do everything. Steal off. Like, steal off. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Um, I'm trying to pick fights. He says. I'm, I'm, he he says. I'm. I'm pretty good. Okay. I've got good eyes. I believe you. Uh, I just think maybe possibly while you do that at least some of us could look into that high forum for possible potential points of, where the, of where the speech is ingress be. and yeah that's a great idea yes okay. i mean we should at least would definitely be there when it happens absolutely uh, yeah. if not oh, um also lastly um he, he was supposed to be coming by a um, boat so if you were going to siege this city um, probably not in a loud way. Where would you start? Where do, where would you put your boat? Where would you come into the city? Is there a canal or something like that? Something that gets him closer to the castle? There's two places in Stillgate that are accessible by boat. One is, of course, just the docks. Ships come by the dozens every single day. The other place that is less conspicuous and more restricted is Deepwell Marina. But that's in the Cliffside District. It's a private marina where the wealthy of the city uh, bring their wealth. Oh, no! Cliffside District is where oh, that's where we were We were to attacked go. by that steel oh, predator. No. Cliffside, the Cliffside District is where you guys were when the steel predator got you. Like, and yeah, we yeah. were supposed to meet that's the head my, of the that's guild. That's my suggestion. Does she, does she, if I'm thinking back to Lady Peregrine, Peregrine, does she have a ship there? Oh, yeah. Okay, um, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, I'm freaking out on like, two different levels right now. I love watching this happen. It's the best. Okay. That's um, going to be my suggestion. Is if we, if we have no other leads, Lady Peregrine... She has a boat. She, she has a boat. She has Cliffside a- District. And when she knew we were coming, that is when we were attacked by a steel predator. No, I think she knows or or she's been manipulated and coerced into helping him some. I mean, it's one of the two. It has to be one of the two. It's a, it has to be. It's a lot of things lining up. So we're going to go talk to Lady Peregrine? Uh, um, maybe we go. Maybe we go to the marina first, um, and we can look for a ship. With, oh goodness. Okay. Um, yes. But no. I think we should go to the marina first. And sh- I don't want to tip her off. I don't want to confront her directly. I feel like that might get messy. They are the most powerful guild. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a way? I mean, 
Well, we had a scheduled appointment with her, did we not? We could still go under the guise of our appointment. We would be quite late at this point. We ran um, into some trouble on the road. Mm-hmm. Trouble that she should trouble know nothing she, about. She might have programmed, though, and I... Oh, goodness. Um, yes, did, so... Did you ever say who built them? The Mechanist Guild. The Mechanist yeah. Guild. Is it was her. It was her. Guild. Their guild. The guild is responsible for most of the artifice in this city. Hmm. They very much control it. So, the I source think of their we power got a Lady wealth. Peregrine. We got a Lady Peregrine. And Salix, you go check out the validity of the Still Predator. Still Predator inspections. Yeah. And does that include inspecting the one that was destroyed that was malfunctioning? I mean, by this time, it's likely back at the facility. So, okay. yeah, I can. And then we look. can reconvene here. I. Uh, could Probably we, safe we, for here. Yeah. Do you feel like safe? safe? Yeah. Oh. I mean, safe as it can be. Well, I think this is a good start. Seeker, hmm? give him some ink. Oh. Uh, mm-hmm. What are you out? You mm-hmm. better not. I don't. I get <laughs> out like candy. I get a new one every day. <laughs> <laughs> if I want it, I will walk over to Salix uh-huh. and hand a small pile of uh, of ink. This um, see, see this. This, um, I look at it. Wait, I look at it too. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the scripture scroll. Oh, oh he knows. You, you, are, you, you is know. It, oh. What color is it? I'm uh, not gonna look. What color is this? <laughs> uh, it's silver. It's, yeah. <laughs> so the um, thing about it is, I forget a lot. <clears throat> so if you don't you hear never that, remember. write again. Write again every day. Often. Every hey, minute. I think I'll see Kelly, you before tomorrow. But, Kelly, but, yeah. but if case, something happens. Kelly, 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 do you, have you memorized his thread? Yes, I'm familiar. You Remember, got it? He, you got the thread? <laughs> yeah, I think I got it. Remember, he was going to uh, end that thread. Huh? No, oh, no, oh. Never mind. Uh, well. Okay. <laughs> Selix chuckles. Yeah. <laughs> he thinks it's funny. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he laughed. Th- thank you for um, laughing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if, all right. Would it, would it be good for us to go like us or do your thing and look like other people when we go see Paragon? Well, Peregrine's expecting us. What? Peregrine's oh, expecting yeah. us and also... And possibly try to kill us. also, I'm kind of tired right now, so I have to plan that. I'm kind of tired right now. <laughs> Speaking of, you all have been through a lot. Yeah. Make sure to get some rest. Yeah, we know we're gonna rest. Yes. There's no time for rest. In we a have place time like from what I understand, right? We have some time. I'm I'm just... Uh, I'm what worried. time is it now? It, it's, it's like, like four, four time? he said? Get, yeah, I'd say by this time we're approaching like... Five, okay. yeah, five in the afternoon. Didn't time. Four, five. Okay, but we have so, two days, right? Till so should speak. we go see Lady Peregrine tomorrow morning? I feel like we can do that now. You we should right at now? least go scope out as much as we can. Okay. I do think that we, we have little time. As much as we can get before we need to rest. But there's no reason to rush it uh, with Lady Peregrine if we can be more presentable. I don't know. Maybe. We could at least check out the marina. Nice. Sure. Maybe we could scope. Maybe we could scope it and and see. Or the forum. Yeah. Should we split up? No. Mm. Oh, that Not makes me task. nervous. I don't even split really. Split the party. <laughs> split the party. Um, it might be a quicker way to get answers. It, um, I can do the forum with end dead ends. As long as we all have ways to con- contact with, e- uh, communicate with each other, like. Well, we'll just meet up at the the the, the scholars, scholars rest, rest tonight. We, oh, we're we not meeting up here. Not here. I can meet you. Where are we sleeping? We're going to sleep at the scholar's Scholar. rest. Okay. Yes. All right. Sailor. Yeah, your house is not as big as my house, so I don't know if there's an Oma. Oh, but it might be safer. Um, you're it's, right. I'm about sorry. It, she's, she doesn't I, mean it the way no, it comes out. No, she doesn't out. at <laughs> all. Burned by an 11 year old. I am 12. Well, welcome to the He's f- burned a lot of people. I'm sorry. 12. Never been burned by a 12 year old either. That's not true. Hazel would burn you all the time. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you know what? You're in my house. <laughs> um, no, he, uh, <laughs> he says, uh, yeah, okay, fair enough. Uh, <laughs> okay, so I'll go inspect the facility, see what I can find. You guys are going to go to the forum and the marina? Do you think that Vossen would pull a ship in there? I'm afraid if he it's... has connections with Lady Peregrine because she was the only person that knew that we were coming into the city that she could have used if she has anything to gain it could have come under the guise of delivering something for her he could have come as her, her ship and taken up her docking space or something 
What would Lady Peregrine stand to gain by the Queen dying? I I don't know. But is there a void created There's never... that the Mechanist Guild could fill? If the Queen dies, does the Mechanist Guild get more control over what happens? Uh, is the Queen doing they... things that's making the Mechanist Guild upset? Like It's possible. Or, I mean, or, been... or... But the, the Mechanist Guild... Do they stand to gain by selling to Kaldor? He could have also manipulated her. He could be holding something over her head. There's a lot. We should start getting answers. His okay. expertise is finding out things about people and using it against them. That's a fun thing to do. All right. Oh, Olma. What? You're a disturbing kid. <laughs> um, you don't even know. Do, do, you, do you know, though? Is there was any of that add up? The Mechanist Guild has made more money and had more power in the last 30 years than they ever had before. The war, it's it makes them tons of money. Every artifice, every piece of machinery that goes to the front that's manufactured here in Stillgate, I have a hard time seeing why, but you could be right. She could be... Maybe there's something she cares about at stake. More than money, more than power. I don't know. But there's only one way to find out, right? Only one way to find out. Okay. Marina? Marina? Forum. Forum. I'll check the facility. And then Lady Peregrine tomorrow? Mm. We will meet with her tomorrow, yes. Is, th- is there any way to find out where she would be moving about town? Lady we Peregrine, don't... she's an incredibly powerful woman, calls upon someone or is called upon by someone probably most nights of the week. I don't know. The last thing I'll think of, I just want to mention, if what if we set off something at the marina or the forum and spook her and she vanishes in, in thin air and we can't find her tomorrow morning? Did we start with her? Before? The marina's not going to vanish and, and disappear. There's still going to be traces there we can find. Um, I'm worried that, it, the, that she might run if she feels think, that we're onto her. I don't think she stands to gain anything by running. She's hiding from us. I don't think she'd leave the guild. I don't if, think she could If it meant that to. we're going to be able to connect her to the queen's assassination, I think she would like to kind of... Why would she think that we would... Because we do something together. at the marina to tip her off. We we'll still don't do anything at the marina. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, everything oh, always yeah. goes perfectly, doesn't it, all? I, no. We should, um... I don't know if I want to approach her directly when we're not at full capacity is my only... I mean, um, it's a gamble. Gamble, I mean... <sighs> I don't, I don't understand you what you're saying. But that is the in the same way that they're not going anywhere. She might be. She is the highest risk... Uh, effort. So, otherwise we're just going to a place and looking at That's true. Risking an encounter with her that might tip our hand. Um, and if we're not at full capacity, then we could still spook her and she could still run. Yeah, I mean, it's up to, I'm feeling okay, but if you guys, I don't know how what everyone's at. I'm not feeling okay. okay. You just I'm, gotta be careful. I have parlor tricks left in we have terms to be of very my magical careful. reserves. Or do we just do this all tomorrow? I think we can look at the forum today, and I think we can look at the marina. I think we can be sneaky. I think we can be careful. Yeah. I'm okay. quiet now. But at first, we're just looking around, right? Okay. Right. It's our first I mean, day. we're tourists. But um, we should try not to look like ourselves as much as possible. That's fair. Okay. Okay. I put my. We hand. were attacked on sight. And just maybe no outbursts. Of. Are you looking at me? What do you mean by outbursts? Never mind. What do you mean? Then you're the one who said it. What do you mean by it? Well, I, I don't want to... Well, Kelly, like, like... I'll kill you. We've talked about this. It was... It was... It was... You that know. was a very specific scenario. Okay, also, we were saying. in a private room, and... Okay, well... I it didn't cause a fight. And, and in the Underdark. I'm just saying, like, let's just make sure we... Keep a calm head. This is serious. Okay. <laughs> Well, right. oh. I'm famous. We're not taking things seriously. I'm not trying to start anything, guys. I'm just trying to make sure we understand that. I think we've all got it. We've all got a lid on it, you know. Okay. Well, Anybody should be worried about an anger problem. We should be looking at me. <laughs> well, you keep <laughs> a lid on it too. All right, I will. All right. I'll see you guys at the pier or the scholars' rest. The scholars' rest. The scholars' rest. The scholars' rest. I'll. I'll write to you as soon as I'm ready. All right. Be safe. I, I'm just gonna throw my arms around him in a really okay. big hug. I. Yeah. He, you be careful. He like whispers it in your, 
Be careful too. You come back. And he walks out the door. You hear the of his. Found it again. It's right here. <laughs> um, still there. You hear the still right there. Uh, you hear the the beating wings of his dragonfly clockwork mount come down, and he takes off. Oh, we should have asked for one of those. What? No, that's only for the. You have to be trained to do that. They, they might would, have other ones. Uh, yes, I'm sure they have spare... Spare F-16s walking <laughs> around. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Just kidding. It's for the queen. Do we borrow one of those F-22s, please? <laughs> we really need it. Okay, so who's um, going where? Well, if we're only going to the two places, we can all go together, right? You think so? Time, yeah, maybe. I want to... They're in the opposite directions of each other. Uh, true. Um, no, the forum no? is up in the Cliffside District, as is Depot. Oh, okay. cool. oh they're both. Oh, oh sorry. Right. The, well, so the, we could the, do both. The forum is the high forum is in the Civic District. It's like the most popular. Mm. Like, That's what I thought. Like, yeah. And then they're so they're both like in the higher district. It's just like one's here, one's over here. If that I have sense. seen a map of mm-hmm. the city, can I take us city all secrets. City yeah. secrets it to the high forum? Yeah, definitely. Sure. And just your knowledge um, of cities. So. What? 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 Remind me of City Secrets again? Just in case you're moving. Um, yeah, it, it, but it's me and companions that I lead can travel between any two locations in a city twice as fast as your speed would normally allow. Okay, cool. So, like, basically, if I'm leading them through, because right. of my urchin background and knowing how cities are laid out or how they right, tend to okay. be, I can take them through. Kind and of that's like a cut. general thing, just cities in general. Or does it say you have to be like familiar with the place or anything, or is it just kind of a? You know the secret patterns and flow to cities, and you can find passages Fuck, through yeah, the urban sprawl oh, super cool. that others yeah. would miss. Like, that hell yeah. Like, yeah. Like, like, I like this I, idea. Yeah, like, this, yeah absolutely. Cool. Absolutely. So, Oma, yeah, you, like, have seen the map at this point, and you've seen a few of them, like, posted. Like, you yeah, saw, yeah. there's a They're, like, big on the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I bet there was there's one like, in the office, there's right? There's one in the office. Yeah. There's a big one yeah. in Steam Stride Landing. we've been walking around a little bit. So, and you guys have been walking around. You've seen it from up high. So, now, like, you've, as you said, like you familiarize yourself with the flow and as Oma's like I'll lead the way guys like you guys suddenly like cut left and <laughs> down a different way than Salix even took you and Oma starts like <laughs> we- leading you guys through weird back streets and then you're like at the steps of Sildar before you go another thing that I did forget to mention now that you're coming up to the stairs you see the six lifts that are all along the cliffs of Sildar um, there are six different elevators two basically uh, between kind of each staircase um, of the city that do cost a little bit of money and are controlled by the mm. Mechanist's Guild. Um, but there are lifts as well, depending on whether or not you guys want to take the stairs. It's up to you. It's a silver piece to take it. Um, but um, it's it's faster. So Yeah, I just follow follow Oma. So if she wants if to do yeah, that, if Oma says, I'll pay it. Yeah. Would you want to take the elevator? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be like, hey guys, did you see these elevators? Cool. Yeah, you <laughs> see these <laughs> huge, they're huge. They generally take about like 100 people at a time oh, up and wow. down. Oh, jeez. Um, yeah, they're like massive platforms and the, the, the sort of gears and mechanisms are like straight up bolted and, and artificed into the faces of the cliffs. So as you guys step on, you see that there's just like a guy in what looks to be like sort of very simple livery um, that is etched in bronze uh, in the sort of colors of Stillgate um, or the sort of metal that's fashionable and that adorns most of the towers and things like that. Um, and then has a, uh, a series of like um, the same symbol of the Mechanist Guild, that kind of like weird blend between the sigil of Ondale, the tree and the cogs, but with like additional gears and things like that. Um, uh, sort of a weird blend between the two. So you see that uh, he is there. He's, it's once you guys step onto the elevators themselves, there's a few other people. Most of them are better dressed, uh, <laughs> especially at this. And at this time of day, you see a lot of um, what look like well-to-do merchants and huh. various different people who maybe come down to the Anvil District during the day and then ride back up to the upper district where they live in the evenings. So as you guys get there, it's like, rush hour basically yeah, it's like 5 30 yeah. uh-huh, yeah. you know something yeah. like that so you get there and um you each give a silver piece so just everybody take a silver piece off of your um, how many copper your... is one silver 10 10 it's copper 10 10 10, 10, 10, 10 right. yeah except for electrum which is banned forever at my tables uh, <laughs> no because it doesn't make dumb. any sense why would, you, why would you do it <laughs> dumb which is the coast if you ever watch this nick it's dumb <laughs> <Kill>. <laughs> just kidding. i don't know what that um, is but i'm platinum platinum's okay platinum's a uh, platinum is 
That's a hundred silver pieces. A hundred? Yeah. Oh, but it's like it's like ten gold, right? Yeah. yeah. Ten gold, hundred silver. Um, so you each give the pe- the requisite pieces, and then as you uh, step onto the Does platform, anyone need with- any, or is everyone okay. good? I'm good, but Stacy did good. really clean me out. I'm getting low. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. You guys, I'm, I'm, I'm low. Queen but... will give us a bit of money. <laughs> reward. <laughs> I'm not. Well, um, you guys, in my pocket. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just got them in my pocket. Um, you guys all step up onto the uh, the elevator, and as you guys do, there's like you hear the guy like last call, last call, going up, and he pulls this like <laughs> big lever, and you see it's like poof, this sort of shimmering like arcane barrier encloses the platform, um, and it rises surprisingly fast. You feel that kind of lurch of it um, as as it steps off, and within probably about. 30 seconds, 45 seconds, like these move very quickly up and down. Um, you guys are at the top. You, he goes all off and he like switches the lever again. And then the, the barrier falls just on the side that lets out mm. and people just file out, make their way uh, back into the, into the upper district. Um, this one is, uh, lets out kind of right, like nearer to the cliffside district. You guys kind of made your way over there. Are you going to Deep Wall Marina first, which is farther, or Athenium, the, uh, excuse me, the Forum, which is I think closer. the Forum yeah. first. Yeah. Forum's oh, there first, yeah. So, never mind. Uh, so, rewind that. You go to the one that you're like, that one's closest. Um, and it is the first one between Sildar and Dorn and Stair. So, you go there, take the elevator up, and before you know it, you find yourselves sort of like walking up to this beautiful like white stone amphitheater Mm. you see like row upon row upon row going very very deep into the ground as if it was like carved out effectively from the bedrock itself um all told the forum can probably fit close to eight thousand people at any given time um there are it's like basically done in like not quite 360 degrees all like almost all the way around and then in the very center, there's just like, and it's all like white stone trimmed in bronze. It's all that same polished white stone. And you can see that the steps as they lead down are slightly worn in the center from the thousands upon thousands upon thousands of feet. Is um, it just outside? It's just outside. Open air? Open. Oh, jeez. Yeah. open air. Um, oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it is an open air forum. Oh, um, shit. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. What is she saying? She's like, let them try. Are you kidding me? In an open <laughs> air? Like, I'm gonna go to this thing that's really dangerous. <gasps> um, so I'm she... telling you, we'll put her in a bunker. We'll put make someone look like her. <laughs> so she, um, or rather, you guys see, uh, yeah, the the forum, the grand forum, um, and it spreads out before you. You can see in the down in the center, there's like a very large sort of elevated platform with a series of steps that goes up to the side. And then in the center is kind of like a large circular stone plinth um, or pulpit from which a speaker can um, can speak. Um, but you guys find yourselves here and there are uh, a variety of people like here already. There are um, uh, like um, what look to be, for lack of a better term, there's a few academics. Um, you can see like students and things like that who are like sitting in little groups clustered doing, you know, appearing to study, kind of get their, their evening uh, studies in, or just hanging out, um, you know, being in this place of, like, academic achievement and renowned public speaking. Um, there are, like, kids and stuff like that running around and, like, playing on the steps. It's just a, a public forum that only gets really, like, locked down when there is an event, but otherwise it's largely open to the public. Um, all told, there's, I don't know, 30, 40 people milling about in different places. Actually, probably, never mind. At, yeah, a lot. There's, like, 80, 90, like oh, okay. spread throughout, like yeah. different parts. Sure. You know, it's big. So, um, but there are different like groups, families and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, you see a collection of different people. Man, that's so dangerous. This whole thing is dangerous. There's like no hope. As a death trap, I want to, as they're talking, I kind of, I want to make a beeline towards the stage-ish area mm-hmm. and start casing. Like okay. I'm, I'm thinking like if, something was there when there are people here how would i get to it right. like are there, are there elevators underneath are there access tunnels are there like what else is there here mm. that i might use to uh, access okay. this location um, i will say with your background make an investigation check at advantage sure. for me while he's doing that i want to walk the circumference and i want to look at higher vantage points that could possibly look down into the amphitheater gotcha okay um 
Make a perception check for me. And I would like to detect magic. Okay. And I guess I will cover the places that I presume she would be entering and speaking and cool. places that would be trapped or something right. to that effect. Um, I'm wondering... It was not that. I can tell you that. <laughs> I'm wondering while Kalik was doing that, if I could walk with him mm-hmm. and just kind of like, if anyway, assist with my arcane knowledge. And if not, no worries. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Walk absolutely. with him and help him. Yeah, yeah. Um, I would say that you go ahead and roll. So with the tech magic and Flynn's help, go ahead and roll a um, your choice investigation perception uh, at advantage because Flynn's helping. 15. 15. Um, as you look around, um, you go up and you start looking at the plinth, the pulpit, the steps, um, looking for secret passageways, bolt holes, anything, a, a, a smuggler's uh, catch, uh, mm-hmm. any place where someone could be rushed to safety, anywhere where someone could hide. Um, you see that there are many points of egress in this space. The plinth itself, the area around it, Nothing catches your eye. There's no, like, for lack of a better term, like hidden passageways mm-hmm. or anything like that. Um, there is one, like, the back, basically, like, the section where you believe, like, looking at it now, where the queen would likely enter and Kellick and Fl- Flynn are kind of, like, running along this area right now. Um, it is, like, not quite covered, but there is, like, a columned staircase that leads up and out and is, like, kind of the closest egress that is in the most direct line of sight to the Capitolium. Um, so that's kind of what you see, but after casing it over and looking at it, you don't, nothing catches your eye mm-hmm. as particularly, um, yeah, there's, there's nothing, no secrets or anything like that. No okay. passageways. Um, you two, uh, as you're looking around, uh, detect magic, um, you, uh, 23, 23. Awesome. So you do notice that there is a magical aura about the place. Okay. Um, it's very subtle, very faint. Um, it is transmutation magic um but as you look at it you innately understand that it is a slight magical effect that boosts the acoustics of the space itself Mm -hmm. not anything nefarious as you go through the points of egress you kind of walk all up and down those stairs you don't see any glyphs traps triggers anything like that that would indicate that this is a space that would be like that that there's nothing nefarious Mm -hmm. uh, that is there Mm -hmm. at current at present moment um uh during that yeah uh while we're kind of looking and uh Going over the magic, um, you know, uh, wasn't ever really good at speeches, um, or really talking, um, as you can probably tell. Um, I, I, do you think you're gonna stand in for the queen? No, I just. <laughs> I'm, try- I'm trying to connect here. Oh, sorry, Kelly. completely. <laughs> sorry, it's just a bit I'm just looking um, about. Yeah, I mean, you know, sometimes they'd have us talk about. The things we've learned in Iron Light and all that. I know we're pressing of time. I probably should just get to the point. Um, I'm sorry if I earlier singled you out, or sometimes I don't know if I'm being rude or. Um, Cause yeah, sometimes I get put on the spot and I don't know what to do, so I just kind of just say what I was thinking. And sometimes I don't know if that hurts people, so I'm sorry if I did. But apology accepted. It, it's uh, it's fine. I, you know. Um, I don't love uh, the idea that the uh, difficulties we've had at various moments in our journeys would lead to some idea of me that is um, I don't know doesn't choose the appropriate moment um, but I understand the need for caution I know I know and it's like we all make mistakes and so it wasn't really fair of me to sing you out. It's just, I just want to make sure we're okay, you know. Hi. Um. But yeah, um, I'm not sensing anything. Uh, no, uh, seems clear. I, this is as expected, I suppose. It would be a bit too rudimentary uh, if we're dealing with the kind of person that Tesla has described. Do you, if, if the McKinnis Guild is part of this, maybe they set up some kind of trap or some kind of explosion or I don't know didn't, didn't didn't they say that there was a, a guy that deals with bombs or something in Captain Vossen's crew should we check for something like that that's maybe not magical maybe that's something that would go under the radar here in a place that prides itself on knowing um, all about magic maybe I, they I would something... think maybe Seeker would be the one to find that he's seems to be yeah being pretty discerning well maybe we can try and find him and see if he knows anything yeah um I have to think it would be something something they wouldn't check for. Mm-hmm. 
right? This is it's important that we do this. But, yeah. Um, I doubt we'll find anything. I mean, <laughs> who are we to think that we can find out something that the r- renowned steel wardens couldn't? Well, we're the bloody agents of repair. After all. Sometimes your confidence astounds me. Um, I used to work with the Hallow Guard, and they're a bunch of assassins. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> and, Facts. Um, Facts. True. True. How would they do it? So, if I were to think of, like, how my group, my crew, like, how um, AR would potentially, like, set something up, could, could I think through that? Like, could I look at the space and kind of like put the red threads together of how an assassin like a group of assassins too not even just one person right because we also had a group we had for sure different Uh, types of people make an insight check is what i'll call this as you think back to like methods how would you do this kind of trying to put yourself in someone else's shoes and think like them um that seems like an insight check to me um I did roll an 18 on my perception for checking the perimeter. Okay, 18. Uh, I wanted to see if there was like any vantage point higher up. For sure, for sure. And Oma, you're you're solo, right? Right now, yeah, like you're I'm not solo. with. Okay, you're solo. You're solo. You're solo. You two are the only. People. Yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah. Um, what was your roll? 17. Damn. Hey. Okay. Yeah, well, Jeez. 18. I'm okay. gonna use two. I'm gonna use two. What are y'all? All, all right. Oh and- wow. All right. Awesome. Awesome. 21. 21. Nice. Okay, great. Um, so, you... <laughs> found it. You, uh, Thessaly, um, there are three points of like okay. high ground okay. that have ample view of the pulpit that are, um, uh, yeah, like high enough in the air, would have no interference from the crowd, but they're far. Like, it would take a crack shot to, to do something from as far away as those points are because the forum is not like totally bereft of anything surrounding it but it's like it's big and then there's space and then there's these kind of high points so to speak um, uh, one of which is kind of one of the nearer towers of the Capitolium itself um, the other would be um, the other would be just there's two other kind of buildings that are relatively nearby. You see one that is like the a near tower from the Capitolium. You see two others that are, again, high enough vantage points. Um, one just appears to be like a bell tower, basically. Um, and the other is just a, a tower of a nondescript building. You're not really sure what it, what it does. Um, but they're basically like right at the edges of what a sharpshooter would be able to do. Um, okay. You know, several hundred yards. Okay. Um, so those are like the only three that you are like... As you look around, you're like, okay, probably couldn't do it from there. Probably couldn't do it from there. And you kind of do this process of elimination. Mm-hmm. You're like, there, there, and there. Um, one is, again, sort of the, the Capitolium one is the one that would have full view of the entrance and exit point, though. Mm-hmm. So that's something. Okay. Um, Olma, you 21 inside check. Okay. So this is a nightmare. Of a place, yeah. <laughs> for yeah. sure. It's a kill box. It, like, no, this is not it's a good. A it's, kill box. it's horrifying. Um, no, the whole thing so is. There's so many ways that it could be done. You yeah. could, you could hit her when she comes out of the Capitolium. You could hit her when she comes in. You could hit her from the crowd, and then in the confusion, maybe dip uh, potentially. Um, if you have access to spell casting, there's almost any variety of ways that, that something like this could be done. Um, the most likely things, the thing that would cause, there's like, there's the thing that would cause the most panic, which would be something loud, something flashy, some kind of big explosion. Um, that would likely have to be done from close by in the crowd um, and or be planted ahead of time. Mm-hmm. The easiest, cleanest way to do it is get her while she's coming in uh, or while she's going out or when she's at the pulpit that would be the that would be the second most like panic inducing thing because you would the the big thing would be the explosion loud scary it would catch other people but the explosion is also not as like as as guaranteed death as the other things because they could she 
there's any it, number. It, explosions don't necessarily guarantee that people close by are going mm-hmm. to be hit by them. Precisely. Yeah. And the queen, in all likelihood, maybe has some kind of magical protection. Yeah. Who knows, right? The cleanest way to do it is hit her when she's at the podium. Full view of everybody, broad daylight. Hard to control all of the potential points of egress. Do I think it will be magical in nature versus... Um, like, like, do I think it's going to be more like a power word kill type, type, type? It would type. likely have to be a really, if, if it would have to be a very, very good shot. Um, and someone who is, it would be like, not magical like a spell, but definitively magical, magically aided. Mm. Um, likely some kind of magic weapon or something. Very because it would like need, that. it would need to be pretty... It would need to do some massive damage to be able to like take take her out her out hit. in one hit. First yeah, shot. and it would have mm-hmm. to be one hit. You'd like have to be hit. very skilled because yeah, as soon as that first yeah. shot gets fired, That's it. That's she's you got. get one shot at it, right? Yeah. You literally get one shot. Yeah. The only member of the Fatal Reserve that's capable of something like that is Hadrix. Okay. Yep. He's he's an artillerist. Right, 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 right. And he has guns, yeah. and you've seen him make some pretty incredible shots. Okay. Okay. So looking at those, so looking at those vantage points, I remembering would be like, it would be tough, but mm-hmm. he could get a kill shot from any one of those yeah, three. He okay. could, yeah, he's the only one who could. Right. Okay. Then there is the other approach. The only other member that could potentially do something like this would be Meryl, but that would like that would be massive. But she, yeah, it would have. She, I mean, she'd have to like take the whole. Yeah. Um. That would be massive. The whole amphitheater with her. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So probably not that. Well, maybe because in East Haven they massacred the whole city. That's right? also so. true. Meryl is dispassionate enough. It depends on. It would depend on what Boston is trying to get out of this, though, right? True. Because okay. What are his motivations? Yeah. It could. It could be either. But like, depending on if they want to clean. Make shot an insight check for okay, me. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What would I? Yeah. If we were if we were having make a meeting check. about this mission, make what a, the make fuck it an advantage. You've been thinking about this all day. Uh, what does he stand to gain? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Insight? Yeah. 22? 22. Yeah. yeah. All right. Finally. There big money, go. big money, big money. This, um, you're thinking about it and you're like, okay, like it could be the shock and awe. It could be like, mm-hmm. but then you remember something. You remember that Vossen is not, he's a, he's a connoisseur. He's yeah. not a showman. No. It's it's not right. This is too flashy. This is too out in front of everybody's face. This is too much of a public statement. Mm. He would do it quiet and clean and no one would know until after it was done. Oh shit. So it's not going to happen here. It won't happen. It's not like you're happen. sure of it with that okay. role. You're like, okay. it's yeah. not going to happen okay. here. That's good it's to know. too flashy. Yeah. It's okay. too big. He's not a terrorist. He's a fucking he's surgeon. He's not. No, mm. he's a, okay. I'm going to, I'm going to try to like gather everyone. Yeah. Then I'm going to try to regroup. <clears throat> like you're sitting there and you're like, this isn't it. This mm-hmm. isn't it. This isn't it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And you guys all gather together and you all give that. And like, mm-hmm. I'd say that that happens kind of as everybody's like giving you your, the information, you all gather together and suddenly like the mm-hmm. thought, it's just like, this isn't right. It's not a style. Mm-hmm. He's not shock and awe. No. He's not shock and awe. He's it's, a knife in the dark. This won't be it. It won't happen here. You sure? I'm positive. It's... He doesn't, he's, I, you were all listening earlier. Uh, he's theatrical, but the theatrics aren't for anyone other than himself. I. He doesn't want to commit an act where the massacre was a bit of an exception. I. I, I don't, wow. Other conversation. This. This is about the queen. It will be quick and it will be quiet. He doesn't want everyone to see it. He no. wants them to know that she's been taken without them knowing. He just the, wants the absence of knowledge to mm-hmm. be. So will okay. it happen before or after something like this? Is that that cuts our timeline then? It does cut our time. Only if it's before Only if it's this. Before I would, it, which uh, may, would make sense because then the whole city would know that she never showed up to her thing. Or right. she's going to make an important announcement and she won't be there to make it. Yeah, that would be that the, the sort of delay of that might appeal as well because then. I mean, it would it would spread panic in a different way. They don't need to all see her die for them to be completely. Would he do it in the Capitolium? Would he find, that was a thought I had. Find a way we to should check chamber. that place when oh. she's before she comes out from the Capitolium to here. 
Maybe. Because mm. she's in her chambers until the speech, right? That's what what did what did Nasaid say? He said he said she'd be proceeding with her schedule. Yes. We don't we don't know what that means. We don't know her schedule. Could be any number of things. Lots of meetings. Get, she's got a council. I, I mean, thinking about it, I have no doubt that if he could get into the Capitolium, into her chambers, and pull that off, that would fucking appeal to him. What would be scarier than killing the queen in the most in, secure in place in all of Ondale? Yeah. He, no, that's you're right. That's where he's going to do it. Well, that's quite a bit harder for us to check out. We have to come well, up with some Well, that probably is part of the appeal, to be quite honest with you, because he's counting on the fact that they're going to be the only people who can actually reach her. Well, can we... we, we any, anything can be broken into. Can we look maybe around the building? Maybe we can do it. Right. Well, maybe, I mean, tomorrow, maybe, or today, I... We should do it now. We could be taking one on strike tonight. That's true. Okay, so so oh, we just this check. Does, this cuts our timeline. So we just check. Should we should we scope out the perimeter first mm-hmm. and see how we would enter if we were trying to yeah, do it? Yeah, Seeker, you're quite good at this sort of thing. Maybe you could fly your eye. How would well, you? Well, and I had to do it with with the Hello Guard. Right. All right. Uh, you both got a couple. Yeah. Master intruders. <laughs> I mean, you're probably better at it Careful. than I am. I was just small. <laughs> would it That's be, uh, important. That's <laughs> good. Would it be worth maybe also going to the marina too? I mean, it might be a good idea to maybe change your schedule. If we can come up with some good evidence that this is a legitimate threat, maybe we can get her out of there before the uh, yes. act happens. Should we split? And, and I think we should. I'm not really good at finding out <laughs> that kind of stuff okay, with the consortium. I'm, I'm, I'm all no for- value. I'm all for splitting. However, if Tess is right and he's already here, that means that we might run into him. The danger's increased tenfold now. I I think he is already in the city. Makes some sense. If they, and so I don't know if we I, should run I, into him. I think separated. there's no reason no. to rule out the steel predator as a possibility in all this. At least it's a, it's a quite a bit of a red flag as far as we've come. I want to check it out. I'm. I'm sorry, I just keep looking over at Rodney and Rodney's like (laughs) (laughs) He's just staring at me waiting for me to reveal something. (laughs) It's so funny. I keep making eye contact with you like I'm not giving you shit. I think Still trap. I think we could split up with the with the very important reminder to everyone. I'm not looking at one person, but if you see anything that indicates that someone is hiding or waiting or you do not go forward. You do not try to take somebody out. We wait, we regroup, and we only attack together when we are at our full capacity. Okay, no engaging. No engaging, because even if we all confronted them together right now, we're tired, we, I don't have spells. He could, I don't know. I understand, I understand. Yeah. Okay, yeah. all right, I just, it's a rough goal. So, so Seeker and I will scope out the capital. Mm-hmm. And we'll go to the marina. marina. Yeah. Yes, we can. We can go to the three of us. I'm gonna grab Seeker's shoulder. What? Hmm? You heard the word I used. Careful. I. Uh, uh, what? Okay. okay. If you see yes. something interesting, you see something intriguing, you see something magical. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you don't run ahead. I'm not, I'm not here for that. Oh, I can focus. I know I you can. I know how. Look, this is what I do. I know. You do the slash stab. This is what I do. I know. It will be okay. I'm just. I'm a little paranoid. What's the best ways for us to stay in contact? Well, we'll just meet back at... But in between, colors. should something happen. Can you do what Kellogg does? Can no. you reach out? No, Not we can't. Same. No. Um, should so, we just say, you know, I'll, I'll reach out in, in an hour? In an hour? How long will it yeah. take to get to the uh, marina? If we had to get... Oh, yeah. What if we, what if we gave him the... 20 minutes. Yeah. I was give, him the, give him the scroll. Give him the and scroll. Then he can always reach us. Yes. Oh, right. Okay. So, We'll give you the scroll. I'll but you won't to... be able to respond. That's okay. Okay. Well, At least... No, but I can respond. We I mean, can respond. I you... can write on this. You can write on this. Yes, okay. No, no, I'm yes. so sorry. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Oh, so you're going you're gonna to hold the ink? Well, we always Yeah, I always have some ink. Okay, and then we're going to take right. your scroll. I'm going to look at it. Is it gold? 
<laughs> I'm gonna start untying it now. I'll, I'll hand it over to you. Yeah. I will also put it on the awesome. outside of my. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> gotcha. I will. I will make it for the rest of the night a, a conscious thing that I will just be looking at it. <laughs> Fair enough. So I don't have to keep interrupting. I'll. I'll, I'll let you know if, if it starts it glowing gold. Up. Yeah, I'll yeah. let you know if it lights up. Okay. Um. Awesome. All right. So you split up. Yeah. You, uh, who's headed towards the deep well marina? So the three of us. Yeah. Okay. Kelly, 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 Kelly. The strong, the strong, the, the strong boys. But the strong folk. <laughs> you guys? And then the uh, strong Seeker, boys. The Seeker and Olma are headed towards the Capitolium itself. Yes. Yeah. All right. So as you guys split in the st- in Stillgate, as the sun begins to fade from the sky, we will pick up there next ah! time. Ah! I love watching you guys squirm. It's the best. <laughs> we only don't have any um, spells left. I know. <laughs> I know. Um, so, uh, thank you all very much for watching. We appreciate you guys. And uh, yeah, goodbye, nerds. Bye, Bye nerds. nerds. Hey, nerds. Seth here. If you're enjoying Venture Forth, please, please like, follow, and subscribe on whatever platform you're using. And make sure to tell all your friends, all of them, like every, every one of them. Uh, If you're interested in going the extra mile, of course, you can check out our Patreon. The link is always in our description. Um, You can support the show there. We are so grateful for our patrons. We wouldn't be able to do this without them. And um, if you're interested in becoming one and, you know, helping us do the thing, uh, then you can head on over there. Um, And, of course, you get access to some really cool bonus exclusive content that is only available to our patrons. So, anywho, check it out. Thank you so much. Bye, nerds.